So as this young fighter makes the walk, you gotta think he's thinking strategically about how to get this fight to the ground to set up his guard passing abilities. Great technique, plus athlete as well, and really a guy who cuts the guard with the best of them to set up a dominant position on the ground. I think a lot of opponents are sort of freaked out by just how quickly this guy transitions between positions on the ground. No doubt his opponent has prepared. Sometimes you just can't simulate an athlete like this in training. So Islam Makashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you gotta think it's gonna take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makachev has to be on their game. Your wrestler's gotta be on point, your striking's gotta be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind you cannot break in front of a hot chip because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha, joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Makashe. Islam Makashe ready to reward his supporters once again here tonight. Tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Islam Makacha! The veteran Herbert Dean, ready, our ready. referee for this one. Ready, good. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Makachev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, in a kickboxing setting, this man has proven a lead as well. A true five to a player who many believe by year's end could just be the king of the lightweight division. Now he's going full mount. Oh. Well, he's got his back now. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. Going for a submission now, or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. Oh, that arm trying goes wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. It looks like he's getting close to this arm triangle. All he's got to do now is isolate the arm, get his head down to the mat, and squeeze in his opponent while no choice but to tap. Oh, somehow he got out! That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air, used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Well, very efficient and effective with the grounded pound strikes here. High-level work by Islam Makashe. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. This is a terrible position. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Takes his back now. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like setting up a sub attempt. 
Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Another ground and pound strike lands. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. You lost that last round. He's really one step ahead of you on the submissions. You're doing a great job with your defense, but we have to avoid those positions where together and become all that. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Ready. Ready. Go. Second round underway. Big land there. It got checked. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Back and forth, we go. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Nice. Nicely done. Just misses with the left hook. Nice, low single takedown. Makashev's in half guard now. Oh, right into Mount. <laughs> Armbar. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Working very hard to get this arm bar. He's close to the finish. He's got to extend the arm to get him to tap. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Well, on paper, it looked like a we're grappling stopping. advantage for him coming in, and largely DC, that's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control, really starting to wear at the gas tank of his opponent. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Makashe. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Now he's got good body position. Yup. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Another right ground and pound strike right gets up. home. Ninety seconds to go in the round. Makashev's trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, he's got the submission locked in now. Oh, that's got to be it. I don't know. That's in so deep. Oh my goodness. Well, everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. All right, here one more time. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, six seconds of round number two. He claimed the winner by tap out, Islam Makachev. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. and.
They put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for some